The Samsung Galaxy S23 FE is a new version of the phone with a fan edition label, which is back for the first time since 2021. It looks pretty good, but how does it compare to the regular Galaxy S23, which is one of the best small flagship phones? Is the S23 FE a good deal, or does it compromise too much to be cheaper? Both phones look quite similar, with flat frames, flat displays, and rounded corners. However, the S23 FE has smaller cameras and slightly bigger bezels on the front. Otherwise, they have similar buttons and ports. The Galaxy S23 has a beautiful 6.1-inch screen, while the S23 FE has a 6.4-inch screen, but we don't know how bright it is yet. The regular S23 has a better fingerprint scanner under its screen compared to the FE, which has a less advanced one. Both phones run on Android 13 with Samsung's One UI 5.1. It will get updates for at least four years. The regular S23 has a faster and more powerful processor compared to the S23 FE, which means it's faster and stays cool. The S23 has a smaller battery, so the FE might have better battery life. Both phones have similar main cameras, but the regular S23 has a better telephoto lens. The FE might have a slightly different ultra-wide camera. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition was a fantastic phone because of the market it found itself in. The regular Galaxy S20 could be purchased for $1,000, so compromising the specs to deliver 90% of the experience for 70% of the cost, $700, was a bargain we couldn't ignore. Times have changed, however, with the regular Galaxy S23 now available everywhere and starting at $800. The Galaxy S23 FE is also available worldwide from Samsung and all major carriers and retailers, starting at $600. Now, which phone is right for you? If you like small phones, even though the Fan Edition could be the best phone in the world, you still wouldn't consider it. It's too big for you. If the size isn't a concern, the S23 FE is the phone I recommend. The sacrifices made are noticeable, yes, but the phone is significantly cheaper than the S23. Unless you absolutely need that 3x telephoto camera and symmetrical bezels, the FE is more than enough phone for most people. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.